All right, we're back. Looks like it's episode 22. I think that's where we're at, but uh, we're doing it like that. We got the fam in the building, actress, DJ, musician. She does it all. Uh, I got my fam right here, my sister, Crystal Lightning. In the hey, day. what's up? Hey. Good to see you, Welcome back, Crystal. Good to see you. You too, you too. It's been, it's, it seems like it's been, it hasn't been that long because you um, stop by sometimes when you're in town. Yeah. But it just feels like, it feels like it's been a cool minute. Like, yep, it has. Seen, it's yeah. been a little while, yeah. I'm glad. I, and first, I want to say uh, congratulations on everything. Like, a lot of stuff coming out, which we're going to talk about and all that, too. A lot of uh, uh, stuff that's already out there so people good can year. see. Yeah, right. yeah, getting down, getting to, to work, which you've been wanting to do. Um, I, wa I wanted to ask, uh, well, first of all, how's everybody? How's everything going? Man, everything's good. You know, uh, Red Cloud and I, we have a, a baby boy. Well, he's three now. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so that's like kind of the reason why we uh, moved to Canada. Um, mainly the reason. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, so that's fam's good and career's good, you know, but I miss L.A. every single day. We were just talking about <laughs> how you uh, you had to, when you got in town, hit up some of the food spots. Hell yeah. Like right off the bat. Yep. Yeah, the, <laughs> that's the first it, thing. And it's just little places like... But they don't got it everywhere. Yeah, so it's, it's little like, places yeah. like straight up. I yeah. love, you know, of course, in and out But Del Taco, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who take would that think? stuff for granted here, I guess. Del Taco, <laughs> bean and cheese. We it's take like, it. We what? do, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I think we do. Like, if take we go somewhere granted, else, you know, we'll be like, damn, so I, used to I need it. some Del Taco or some yeah. Taco Bell. And when life. you don't have it, I think that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. I, so. I'm sure they got some cool spots over there, too, that, uh, you know, one of these days when I finally start traveling, I'm going to have to go check check it out yeah you gotta there. come visit it us looks nice there. though where you guys are at you guys get a uh, like um like snow and shit like we that get the right four seasons. yeah that's what i was gonna say all the seasons yeah right? so when it's summer it's beautiful there's a lot of lakes there and when that's it's cool. fall it's fall like you see the trees turn yellow and orange and it's beautiful and then winter yeah. uh winter is uh <laughs> something else poor, poor cloud has to he has shovel. to shovel the i was i was seeing one of the things on your <laughs> One of your stories of like a uh, homie shoveling a driveway, <laughs> like you see on those like old Christmas movies. Yeah. <laughs> no more mowing grass now; it's yeah, shoveling yeah. snow. Exactly. <laughs> He's like, man, what'd you get me into? The clouds out there getting his workout on. Huh? Yeah. He's doing the Rocky workout. <laughs> I li li listen. Uh, I wanted to ask, like, okay, I don't know if you remember, but you know, uh, for anybody watching that might not know, um, Crystal also. Uh, well, we first met. Um, when you guys came as the group Lightning Cloud. Yeah. And I think, because we're about to hit our 12th year anniversary on the B-side in November, and I think we've known you guys, it must be about 10, because yeah. or close to it, because mm -hmm. I, I know you guys came, it was the second or third year, I, I believe. Hell uh, yeah. So yeah, so we have we've we go way damn, back. Damn, yeah. almost yeah. a decade. Well, I trip out on it too, and I'm like, damn, we're about to hit our 12 year anniversary. And then I'm like, I always know by like, an artist like how long i i met him ago or yeah. or, or knew him because i remember they were on this year of the show you know what i mean yep. so, but yep. you guys came as the group and then like we were always cool like we we've been to shows like had fun like mm -hmm. different stuff and then um you were also one of the the hosts here on the show on the b-side show yeah and that, that was fun we had a lot of you know uh we, we got a lot of good interviews in too. Man, yeah. I love that. That yeah. was so much fun. Like, yeah, you hit me up, I think, uh, just a little while after our last interview. You're like, yo, do you want to come and host? Yeah. Guest host. And I was so hyped. I was like, hell yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, you know, and it was something, well, you could tell, I mean, you you're, you know what you're doing, obviously, you know, you, you with the movies and everything, you've been in front of the camera. It's not um, new. So it was like, it was almost like an easy thing for you. I mean, I feel like it. Um, but then you would like go and, and, and do all your research on the different yeah. people. And it was it cool. was good yeah. because because, you know, when you're doing film or TV, you have a script. Yeah. So you can memorize what you're doing, what you're saying, you know what's going on. But with this, with interviewing people, it's almost like it's improv. So it was it was a yeah. muscle. I didn't really exercise much. So, yeah. I mean. You're the master. Like oh. you're so good. You can just, you know, you roll you with everything. <laughs> you no, roll with it. No, no. I, I and I always tell people, cause, well, because uh, you know, Fallacy, shout out Fally too. Yeah. She's What's still up, hosting Fally? with us. Yeah. Um, but stuff like that is like, cause when I first wanted to get into this, I like always thought, oh, well, the people I looked up to that, that did it too, but it was always something about uh, no dead air. Yeah. So, so like, even if the 
if the gas goes into, I would just kind of come in and, you yep. know, somehow swerve it back into the lane. And, yeah, you know. that's interview skills yeah. for sure. And like you said, like uh, our show is always live. It's always live, too. So it's not like we're going to go edit or do anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just cut out the silence. What you it's see always is what you go, get. Yeah, the B-side <laughs> show is up like that. all the way live. And yeah. I remember you were talking about one of the times you were even, like, weren't sure what to expect with one of the guests because you already knew his history. Yeah. And and you kind of you know and you just we, we just went into it just live rolled. with no that was a, no no pre interview that was the that. original freeway Ricky right yep. Damn, I remember you told that story nice. I remember you said that was one of your uh, yeah the ones you remember the most I, that you did I remember yeah. when we talked to I you. remember her even even asking before the show you know I I got my reservations about this guy I know what he's done like yeah. this and that you did a little more in research but then I remember I I said you know what if you have a question or something you want to I said go ahead like because yeah. I know. I know you would word it correctly anyways, but if you have something to ask the guy, go, fuck it, ask him. Cause yeah. he, he said he's going to come here to be honest. And, yep. um, and he did that and it kind of like changed your perspective a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Like, I, I, I gained respect for him because yeah. of how he put, you know, yeah. put his experience in there. And, and, and some, some of it, like he didn't do it just, you know, to put something out there to harm people. It was like some people do like it's survival. kind of, of yeah, survival yeah. out of necessity sometimes. Yeah, you know? and I get it. Yeah. So um, during that time, like we've had many conversations and, and uh, I remember even talking about um, you. You had this conversation with me like you, you didn't know what you were going to do because you were waiting on certain roles at the yeah. time. And then. You you also I know you wanted to have it you did want to have a, a child hell yeah and and I and, I and I remember you talking about it because I think it was shortly after I had my daughter yeah so I think that's how we got in the conversation but I remember you saying like you didn't know kind of which way you were gonna go and and like obviously a, a lot of the times like when you do go to settle down and have a family and sometimes sometimes roles don't come around as often you know what I'm talking yeah. about so I, I remember thinking that it, and when you were telling me i remember saying well if that's what you want to do because you were still in a in a i felt like in a in a good time like mm -hmm. you had experience but I, like you weren't even close to you know tapping the surface yet with what i felt yeah so watching right. i remember even i think my i don't know if it was advice or i'd said something like well it all work out yeah i said like if you have a kid like it doesn't matter you'll still it'll work out yeah. like it'll be fine your and life then, don't stop and i remember even asking you hey you, so you want to have a child hey does cloud know about this <laughs> 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 oh she and she even told me no yes we've talked about it yeah. and all that and i remember I'm like throwing the birth control out yeah, the window yeah. <laughs> 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 feeding into the birds outside <laughs> you're, you're, you're like pretending you're taking them like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so bad girls probably do that all the time <laughs> no but i no but i remember uh having that conversation and then i don't remember after that how long later it was and then you were like guess what you came to host one time and you're mm -hmm. like yeah and i and i kind of knew and it, and it was weird because you already had the, like, you know, the glow, they say. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, like, so I'm like, oh, I think I know. And then you told me, and yeah. I was cool. That was yeah, you that were was. one of the first people I told, actually. Yeah, and, and it's cool, man, because, you know, Cloud uh, is fam as well, and he's always been here, like, when we when we do the shows and stuff. So even though you're hosting with us, it's like he's right there chilling. It's like yeah, you know, he's part supportive. of the show, too. Yeah, yeah, and that, too. Yeah, it, he's always been very supportive of, of everything. Was um, So when all that happened then, um, explain to me. Um, I, well, I know the story, but for the people checking this out, um, around that same time when you found that out, then you get a, a roll offer, right? Yeah, you got well, a couple a couple things started coming in at the same time. Yeah, it was actually so. So just to answer your other question about like not knowing what to do as far as wanting to start a family and your career. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's it's so this, you know, this the entertainment business is so tough because yes. it's not like you go to school, you graduate and then you get a job. It's like it's an ongoing thing, mm -hmm. you know, and you never know when something's going to hit. And so I thought I mean, my fear was, oh, once I have a kid, that's it. Like, mm -hmm. um, that's it. Because that's what you think. You think it's either this or this. Yeah. And I was so, I had no idea. I mean, as soon as I, um, we decided, okay, we're just, we're going to do it. I don't care about acting anymore. I'd lost a big role and I was like, I'm so over it. Like, I, I, let's just start a family and, and t you know, just take a risk and do that. 
So we did, and I got pregnant like, I don't know, five months after we talked. Because, yeah, you had a baby girl, and I was like, I want to have a baby. Yeah. Now I really want oh, it. I was somewhat inspiring, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you know what they say? Like, women have this, this it clicks where now you want to have, you want to be a mom. And that never really happened for me. It was like my mom called me, and she goes, you know, Crystal, you know, you're in your 30s. And she goes, I know you really good. And, you know, my life was so fast, like yeah. DJing and traveling. And we were doing this and that. And I never it never really hit me. And she goes, I have a feeling that one day if you're if you're not a mama and you can't have babies anymore, you're going to be sad. Mm-hmm. And that's all she said. And it's like she's smart because it planted a seed. And I was like, oh, my mm-hmm. God, she's right. So I think we talked after that. And we're like, fuck it. Let's just let's go. Got pregnant. Did our last tour as Lightning Cloud. We're like, okay, um, we do this tour called the Green Chili Tour every year. Um, you were already pregnant. I was, pre- I was seven months pregnant. So, yeah, K- yeah. Kisik has, has already been on the stage He's and everything. He's already listening yeah. to the bass on the stage. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He's already been on tour. Yeah. He, he, <laughs> yeah. he was inside this. He was in there going like this. Yep, <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> it was so fun. So we had a couple people on the road with us and we're like, okay, let's, you know, because I was, I, I felt good. I felt really good pregnant. I love being pregnant. I was, you know, I didn't get sick or anything. I had energy. So we're still rocking shows. I got my belly. Last show is in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, where we are now. And my water breaks on stage. Wow. Six weeks early. Like we had already, we had everything planned out. Like we were going to come back to LA, pick, pack our stuff, get the dogs, go back to where I'm from and have like a native, like a uh, traditional birth uh, ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but my son wanted to come, you know, early. So I went to the hospital had him. I was in the NICU for 21 days because he was he was small. He was like five pounds, mm. so he was healthy, but you know he needed some help with um, getting fed and stuff like that. Yeah, that happened with me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it ended up being amazing. The nurses were amazing, and I was really sad because I wanted to have like an, uh, uh, a water birth and everything. But I accepted the situation. Uh-huh. Cloud had to go back to LA, pack our dogs, get our cars, because. That's it. I had my son in Canada. Now we have to. He's a newborn. Yeah. So um, that worked out. He went to go get our stuff, brought it back. And while I was in the hospital is when I got the call from my agent. Crazy. And she's like, Crystal, remember that thing you auditioned for? four months ago well the director and i was like i'm in the i'm in the nicu like (laughs) i just gave birth like a week ago and but i feel great and she goes is there any way you could make it work the director's gonna fly there and meet you so i told the nurses i was like i have a big meeting you know and they're like go go so i went to goodwill and got an outfit because all i had was like pregnant like yeah. show clothes like yeah. big jersey glitter, glitter jerseys and shit like and the role i was playing was not like that so i went to the store got an outfit went to meet the director um long story short i ended up uh booking a lead in a tv series after i had my son so straight out of the hospital um you know i had a little bit of a break and then a month later I was shooting this series with my newborn son, and, and they were so supportive. Yeah, and you you got to even take him on the set and stuff. Like he was there in your your trailer. He or was whatever there in my was. trailer, yeah. and I was nursing him yeah, and, at the man, time. That's crazy. And uh, they would they would they allow me to do what I had to do, and I was the lead. So I w- it was a very um, it was a very emotional role, a demanding role, physical role. I mean, no sleep. But I was like, I was I I'd wanted that so yeah. much. Um, before I had him and I never had that opportunity. So I was like, nothing is going to stop me. Yeah. I'm going to show them that I can be a mom and I can carry this part and I'm going to kill it. And, and maybe, I did. you know, maybe Kisik knew. And then he said, you know, he knew his mom was going to yeah. get the role. You know? I, I got to get I gotta it. come out a little early. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Make my debut a little bit. You early. know what? I do believe that <laughs> it's like everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And this little angel yeah. was literally like open up my universe. I mean, my career really, my acting career really took off after that. It's crazy. Because you change, you change yeah. when you become a parent. And um, something happened with me where it was just like, I think it was also, you have a desperation when you're hustling and you're trying to aud- book a role and book a role and auditioning and auditioning and you're like, you want it so bad. And then once I just kind of let it go, it's like, I remember you saying. I remember you saying that to me before, and that, yeah. that's kind of what I want. You know what I was getting at with the 
that determination and then and then the consistency which you already had of not just getting roles but like you said hustling and doing what you had to do to get the next audition or the next one yeah um all that consistency also plays in for me i feel that way in the universe it plays in absolutely and so and then when you did finally you know take that breath and say this is the route we're going and whatever happens happens then they they came in and it's it's a crazy testament to that determination and consistency that that came out of it like yeah you still you ended up getting that role and more um but you went with what your heart said and you, you wanted to have your your you know yep, your son i and, wanted to have yeah. that chapter change and yeah. then you're right all the work That's that i done before that, with studying and preparing and mm -hmm. i feel like it was the right exact time i don't know if i would have been ready before yeah but where you was know? the shoot for the tv show then it was in um ontario canada and and vancouver canada oh because so that's basically the same area where like where where you were just talking about them yeah too, right? i'm actually i'm living in the middle of canada right. but we shot in the north and the east oh, coast okay yeah but well, it, so it's still a little you know it's just crazy how that comes together though you know it's just like that you were meant to just go go back to canada and that's kind of where you yeah you, know, where you had your it's another you, thing. It's you know, like, your baby and your and your career just started taking off again. That's, yeah. that's what's up, you know. As like, much as I was fighting it, I, yeah. I did not want to move to Canada. So, I was like, so no. the, the, the role we were talking about for those, and the reason I know Trickster is because um, they, they actually put it on the network over here. Um, CW. Yes, yes. And, oh, then, yeah. and then me and my, my girl were watching it, and she was, like, mad when they didn't continue the, the uh, season. You oh, know, yeah. and it was supposed to get another uh, yeah. uh, season. We were Dude, hoping for another season, and, and, and my, my lady said, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, trust me. I was like, what the fuck, too? What? She's, uh, hey, we got into it. We were watching it every week. It was oh, cool, man. It was you. It was something different. Um, but, like I said, like, it was so cool for us, you know, as fam to see um when that started happening like fuck this is fucking dope like she got to have her child and now these roles are coming in that she's been trying so hard for for you know how like lots of, like people don't know lots of years you've been doing this and yeah. and uh when, when when we get to see it it's like uh oh, we're happy like like oh, we want to see that 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 success you know thank you yeah oh man we were Tri all upset at trickster's the one um that you won the uh the, the award for yeah yes. yeah i won um a csa award it's a canadian screen award which is like the equivalent to a can uh, an emmy award yeah for television right. but but right. the main the main role though that, yeah, that uh, was the the lead actor lead in the actress. drama series there you go that yeah. is that is super dope yeah. right there. So, yeah. and we were seeing it like that like the like we were talking about earlier like the magazine covers and stuff and, and it's it's cool it's so crazy and remember yeah. we talked about um at last time when we did the zoom interview it was a while back after right after that happened yeah um when we seen the you seen the the billboard on the side of a bus stop i still can't believe it was that. like oh. yeah that was a moment for me that's for the sure. shit like you're like what wait, wait, <laughs> i don't want to crash but damn, yeah. that's me right there <laughs> oh um, man yeah so so um you know it like I said, we're going to go all over the place with this, but um, leading into that, you've been doing um, films or, or parts since what, like nine years old, right? Nine years old. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. Sh My brother seen the movie. Like he, he's. Yeah. Uh, I remember when you guys first came as Lightning Cloud, and he's like. I think you asked where you. Yeah, like three actually, ninjas. I remember like when you guys first came. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, the crystal lightning, hold on. See, I I didn't remember the three ninjas role, but the one I saw first was uh, the American Pie oh, band yeah. camp movie. Yeah. So I happened to watch, and this is way before like the B side stuff, right? Like, how old were you when you when you did that movie? American Pie, I was like 21. Yeah, so I mean, I was, you know, yeah, this is way before we did any of this stuff. So I, yeah. I seen the movie, but it just, I'm like, wait a minute, I remember the, and 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 I, and I just tripped me out. I'm like, damn, that, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Oh my God! Yeah, yes. but but it, I kind of um, I don't know if I ever got to ask you, but um, how did that ever that come about? Did you audition for that? Or I auditioned it, for that. Oh, and that yeah? role was actually written for a Caucasian girl. Oh really? And so they had already booked it, uh -huh. and then they brought me in for an audition, and I'm like, I was a little intimidated because I'm like, they already cast this, but I guess it something somebody wasn't set on her, uh -huh. so I was like, how can I make this role? How can I make this mine? Right. And I did something in the audition where she's talking about Britney Spears, and I went like. Britney Spears, fuck, you know, it did yeah. something you like, like that. You were like more the rebellious, like yeah, the like goth, a goth girl. Yeah, yeah. And they were like, "We want you." Yeah, that's what's so up, I actually, huh? yeah, booked it after it was already written for a different race, which was cool. Yeah, that's um, what's up. 
That's yeah. one, that was one of my favorite characters of that movie. Oh, good. It's crazy because I never, it was, it, I think it was like a, I forgot, it was like a sequel after the original movies, right? Or it something. was uh, American Pie Bandcamp. Bandcamp, yeah. yeah. And, and, but four, I, I was just a, a fan of the, of the original, so I'm like, I got to see these in, you know, so I, I, I remember I seen it, but that was the first one. And I was like, hey, man. That's, Hell that's, yeah. And it was, a, it was a trip. And it's crazy, too. And after all that, like, and to, like, to call you guys friends and fan, that, that's what's up, man. Oh, like, man. Thank congrats you, Congrats on everything. Yeah, that yeah. that shit is cool, and 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 so I was even I was checking out also the the newest because I had seen the one that you did a, a few years back or oh, fuck what, is, what year are we in right now? Oh, well, maybe th- five years back Airline or so. But the the, the uh, like your director's reel or um, I believe they call it, you know, with oh with demo some, reel, yeah, demo reel. There you go. Um, but it's it's crazy, like the the roles have multiplied. Like oh, oh, it, yeah, there's a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, it's really cool when you see it in when you see everything put together. Like, wow, the journey of all the different parts. Yeah, it's pretty. So, could we, uh, but you know, we got a lot of stuff to talk about still, but I I wanted to know, let the people know some of the, you know, if they haven't seen some of the stuff where they can catch you, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, some of the stuff I've done um, that you can find on, like, we said Three Ninjas. Oh, Three Three Ninjas Ninjas. Knuckle Up was my very first movie. That was the, what, the third one of the Three Ninjas? That's Three Ninjas Knuckle Up Three, yeah. Yeah. Number three, right? Yeah, number three. Band Camp. Uh, Band, American Pie Band Camp. Uh, for all the 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 mamas or the grandmas, even I was on Days of Our Lives, which is like a <laughs> soap opera that was. Oh, wow. I didn't know you were on. The yeah. Um, my, my back in the day, do you remember our oh, our, uh, my, uh, grandma? our our uh, my on my dad's side, my grandma, my aunt, like. When we used to stay over there, we'd go see, you know, back and forth my mom and my dad's house, and we'd stay over there, and and uh, they, they watched the I soap opera. They watched, we, I think I, it was General Hospital, Days of Our Lives, and, and there yeah. was something one. else. One other one. I they literally they watched, watched them, them like, every yeah. single day, dude, mm-hmm. and like so we know that shit. Yeah, right? you hear the the background the. The title song. Yeah, yeah, yeah we already knew it. <laughs> yeah, I knew, I knew I had to get outside and and start playing when I actually started knowing who like Luke and fucking I don't remember who else was on that. But I Luke start, and Laura. Or yeah, yeah. Like I, started, yeah. <laughs> I started getting into the story when I was a kid, and I said, "Oh shit, I gotta go like, uh, go play some funny. football on the street." It's yeah. gonna sc- scar me for life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what else, what else you, got? Um, you got? I was on a show called Outlander, uh-huh. uh, which was filmed in Scotland, uh, Yellowstone. Um, I was on a show called uh, The Game. Um, what else? Southland? That was like about the L.A. street. Oh, what about that? There was a movie, right? The movie with uh, where you played the, the, the girl from the military. Oh, Saving Jessica Lynch. Yeah. Oh, that's that right. Cool. Yeah. That was a true story, actually. Yeah. 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 Um, I remember, I remember the whole, that whole story yeah. from when I was a kid. Yeah. Right. The, this, this when it was happening. Got kidnapped. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that, that should have. And the thing about, see, like the stuff you named off, if people um, that are tuned in, going to tune in, check this interview out. Um, if you haven't seen any of those, like the roles that you play, which is dope. I know as an actor and actress, like, they're all like pretty different. Yeah, they're yeah. all very different. You played like a girl, like a, a tough mother that had to carry a gun in that one. That uh, I think was that Southland. Was that Southland? The, yeah. Well, yeah, she was just. She was ghetto, right? She's she's on her she's three row motion going down yeah. the, the road with the gun in the back seat with her kid. And, Wait, in yeah. the car seat. Yeah. In the car seat. Yeah, yeah, but anything from that to then like trickster was like some. If if you haven't seen it, it was like some crazy. Uh, like spiritual type shit going. I was like, uh, well, how would you describe that? Well, one? Uh, Maggie Moody was a she. Well, first of all, she had a teenage son, and um, she was she had substance abuse issues. She had mental issues. She was schizophrenic, or she people thought she was, but she actually saw spirits. And she was struggling with her own identity, but loved her son so much, but just didn't know how to show it, which. I mean, for us, you know, I'm native and there's a lot of moms on the res that are like that or even in other communities, you know, where the mom oh, yeah. and dad, you know, they just struggle, but they love their kid, but they just don't know how to show it. And yeah. um, so that was her. So it, it, it was again, it was very emotionally demanding, but yeah. I really had to um, dig in the files and go, where can I take that? OK, I'll take that from this auntie and I'll take that from this. auntie. <laughs> well, see, and that's the thing. And then you you get 
um, sometimes it, it kind of will remind you of something you've already seen in your life. So you, you can kind of like bring that out into the way you're portraying it. Yeah. That's what's so cool about it, like acting and, and all that stuff. Is, yeah, is that character development. Did, did it help like for that role, especially like that your your son was actually there? Did that like help draw some oh of my gosh. emotion? For sure. Yeah. Like he was in my trailer during this time. Mm -hmm. Right. But yeah. but just like I said before, like when you once you be once you have a baby, it's like something happens and changes and you feel that mother bear Hell yeah. uh, love. And so I had auditioned for mom roles before, but I had always looked a little younger than my age. So I wasn't really believable yet, but I felt like, but age wise I was, but finally when, when I got this part, I was really a mom. So I could feel the, yeah, like that, that, that part thing. you needed to yeah, trigger you could put for yourself that. there. For how, sure. how, it's, how you would yeah. feel. Did it. You the baby for the trailer? Oh, in the trailer, you know, when they show on TV, like, coming next week, you know. Yeah. So there's a part where I'm like, give me my baby. And I grab the baby from from the the, the guy. That's really my son. Oh, they, shit. Oh, I remember that. Debut, hey, yeah. So he made his debut on uh -huh. the stage. Yeah. <laughs> and then he was in the series. Exactly. Like, like, he had a whole plan. <laughs> he's doing his thing right now. <laughs> yeah. The, the, I guess the baby that they were supposed to use didn't show up. Uh, so I was like, you know, I have a newborn in my trailer right now. So. The he had another job. The, the baby had another job before yeah. he, didn't, he, got, <laughs> he didn't show up. He, he was had, like, no, hey, my bad. He, could, <laughs> hey, he couldn't. Call, hey, he couldn't call out of his other job yeah. six to come to the do the acting gig. So he, hey, it, it was that baby from Roger Rabbit. Remember? Oh, remember that one after? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he started getting. All hey, that that's that's crazy how that works out too. Like it is. And then also, I I almost forgot to mention. Um, your mom is also an actress, and and she was also in the 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 show with you. Yeah, my mom oh, plays that's, that's my mom cool. in the show. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. My mom's a veteran actress. Yeah, like, that that's what you you told yeah. me a while back. I she's remember amazing. that. She's yeah. amazing, and she, we didn't even know. So, I don't even know if I should tell the story. It's kind of I'll make it short. <laughs> so so the director of this series, uh -huh. her name is Michelle Latimer, and she had seen this series a few years ago, um, and she saw this actress. You know, she was getting her kids taken away or something. And she was like, wow, she blew me away. And so when she was doing her uh, cast list, which is which cast members she wants, she, her her dream cast, if who yeah. she wants, she goes, I want to find a young Georgina Lightning for Maggie. And my mother's name is Georgina Lightning. Yeah. So she goes, I want to find a young Georgina Lightning for her. And so my audition came through the producer goes you need to see this girl so she saw it and she had no idea that i was georgina's daughter yeah oh, wow. she, so that was like yeah, that's what a trip crazy. yeah that's and so she's like trip. i have to cast georgina as her mom yeah so oh that was such a trip yeah no that so. had, that had to be cool man like actually like like you said your your mom knows you so well and then but to actually be portraying two different people but as mom and daughter on the uh, in front of the camera that, that's wow. some cool shit some like, of the scenes were like pretty heavy and you really didn't have to act i mean it's like yeah the real it shit. came out like yeah. it came, but isn't that like but the, and then um the the i guess the ch like the stuff came out but then the challenge lays in the part where it's like you're not but you're not crystal and georgina now you're two different people and you have to portray the mom and daughter as as their personality and she, right as that's it's a written. good challenge like it really is for an actor yeah you have to take the words that are on the script page mm -hmm. and make it to come to life but was, yeah you're right there's so many different elements to that that's because we're cool, yeah. we're playing this dysfunctional mother and daughter and it's like okay um it's getting a little too real here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some to of stuff remember we're acting, yeah. <laughs> Some of the stuff. Yeah. But I think the audience wants that. They want authenticity. You yeah. know, even non actors, when you watch a movie, you know when someone's not a great actor, right? Like you know yeah. who's good because they make you feel something. Yeah. yeah. And that's why people go to movies. That's why they go to escape or they go to like be affected by by, you know, a story. So you, you know, some people like what's trippy to me because like it, it I, sometimes it sucks because I want to go to like a show or see a movie without like sometimes <laughs> I dissect too much and yes. I start going like, oh, this part should have been. And I'm like, fuck, I just want to enjoy the yeah. shit. So I want to turn that off sometimes. But like back in the day, I remember even seeing like some people like come into themselves like like I, I don't know why it comes off the top to me. But Ice-T, man, I love you, Ice-T. But yes. when he first started his first roles, I was like, dude, like. 
his acting is it wasn't that great but then dude by the he's on svu he's he's so dope on yeah. there like and i watch that show a lot and it's like crazy and it, like other cats like uh even like ll cool j and uh I, fresh prince I, I mean will smith i'm sorry but <laughs> he kind of had that extra charisma that because coming into a comedy to start i mean right. it kind of worked for him mm -hmm. but then he he was able to turn it up in those serious roles the same with like jamie fox and shit yeah. it's, Absolutely. it's crazy coming from kind of a different background and the way they've through their career been able to turn up the notch on like what they're with, playing with like, dramatic roles oh yeah yeah i think that comes with experience yeah. i think being on set with real top dogs that are like in the game for 20 plus years and learning tricks and learning technique there's so much more than just learning lines like there's so many things that you have to timing and all that timing, right? hitting timing your mark a, yeah. not looking in the camera yeah. like memorizing your lines and their lines being a supportive actor mm -hmm. being there for them um work ethic being on time knowing your lines like there's so much That's, that plays into it and they have those actors like how you were saying though too where they're like oh um, but almost like they get a they're good but they almost get typecast into a certain role but then there's some that on um, you know they make sure that they break out and do something different like 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 you were saying jamie fox or something you know like they start kind of maybe comedic type roles but then you see him even chris rock did a um, he did something serious like a, uh i think it was one of the saw movies like one of the sequels but but i yeah. heard that he did good and like that because when you think chris rock you, you automatically think oh funny it's gonna be yeah. funny but it wasn't, you know, he, he was actually serious and it, it's hard to think of him like that, but it was right. Even actually... Ad Adam Sandler even oh, did that. Oh, Adam Sandler that's too. A good one, and yeah. who else? Uh, well, you know, one of my favorite when he was Steve at, Carell and uh, too, Jim uh, Carrey kind of yeah, like Jim took Carrey. that to another level yeah. too, man. Wow. That, that guy, he was so like his comedic and, and his like uh, improv, mo the, the moves that he would do like as part. What, what do they call it? What do they call that when you, when you like. Emote or. Or, Imp improvisation is that what it's called when or, they do the when when some part of the thing, physical comedy there you go physical comedy oh, yeah. that yeah. was the word i was looking for yeah it's physical Air comedy where a lot of his stuff memory. he'd have to like do the faces or the like gestures Absolutely. or make his body contort and then yeah. to go and then do some like serious he'd done some serious role oh and robin williams just came to my head too oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, rest master. in peace man yeah yeah that guy was all over the place with his with his personality yeah it's amazing like, when you see someone like i think chris rock too he remember in new jack city he played oh, oh yeah part. that's right yeah. but was, uh, then after yeah. that yeah he was a tortured soul or not yeah. a tortured he was a it, he was uh, pookie right? yeah. yeah 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 that's right <laughs> Hi, and then, friend was a pookie. And the, what was the <laughs> other movie? The uh, fuck the the one they made the Wayans brothers, I think. Made, and he's like, uh, how much for one rib? <laughs> no, oh, what, what yeah. movie was oh, that? I'm gonna get you sucker. Yeah, I'm gonna get you sucker. Yeah. What are those? And then he would do that on Saturday Night Live a lot too. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Uh, how much? <laughs> how much? <laughs> Good soda? How much is soda? <laughs> well, just pour it in my hand. <laughs> yeah, dude, that was fucking hilarious, man. Yeah. So, um. I wanted to, you know, kind of tail into something else that you guys did that I just thought was so dope. And we almost got to catch one of the ones when you guys came over here. But the play that you guys did. Mm, oh, man. Bear Grease. Be yes. Oh, yeah. So this, uh, well, I'll let you explain it. But um, talk about the, con I mean, I know the concept, but, you know, go ahead and talk about it from, uh, you know, how you guys put this together, man. Yeah. Uh, Red Cloud, man. He's a fucking genius he, dude. he is he is i second that yeah. he's um be, well bear grease is a musical i'm sure you've heard of grease mm -hmm. um the original with john travolta and olivia newton john well we just Rest recreated it and made it indigenous so we called it bear grease um cloud wrote this in our basement um pre-pandemic for you know he started working with the youth on my reservation and uh they basically brought him there to revamp the music and arts department at the school and because uh, it was kind of just stagnant so they brought him in as an artist residency so he started writing these plays for them and uh, helping them with their confidence and Im implementing art um, to do that and music That's and then COVID cool, hit yeah. so he couldn't bring Bear Grease uh, to the school and before that he had done uh, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas but it, he, he called it The Nietzsche That Stole Christmas so in my culture like What's up, my Nietzsche? Like, that's like, what's up, my native? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So Nietzsche, he's just said, you know, um, the Nietzsche that stole Christmas. Well, that, like, 
made the news front row in the pa uh, front page in the paper <laughs> i mean people were just the kids were just completely like cool, changed after this because they all had parts in this musical and wow it was amazing so he wrote bear grease and then again COVID hit so it just kind of sat there and then there's this thing in uh, the city I live in called the fringe and so every year there's 10 days of uh, you know 50 shows a day and they take up like four blocks and there's so many theaters and they just have musicals and plays and you know all kinds of art going on and so they had asked us to do um, lightning a lightning cloud show for one of the um, for one of the days and we're like man we what are we going to do different? You know, cause we're always trying to reinvent ourselves. Yeah, How yeah. can we, we don't want to just do a lightning cloud show. We can do that any other time. Let's take this space and this time to like, let's do bear grease. So we had a month to have the show on the stage. Damn. So we literally spent like, what was it like six, seven days trying to cast the parts, like just putting it out there. Like who can sing, who can dance. It has to be indigenous because it was the indigenous stage. Yeah. And so, um, man, people just came through. We auditioned people and we had a cast and then we started the choreography. And so we went, we went just like, okay, but whatever's going to happen. 30 days to put all these elements Plus together. rehearsal. Ooh, yeah. And yeah. learning your line. Everybody got to learn their parts. Yeah. And keep it moving. It was already written, uh -huh. but we were just like, you know, and the, most of the people in the play aren't even actors. This is their first time gig. So uh, we just took a chance. We're like, we don't know how people are going to respond to it. And we put the this, this sales up, and within like 20 minutes, it was sold out. Damn. Because people were craving to see something yeah. that, like in Canada, there's a lot of trauma around, you know, Native history and all of that. And we wanted to bring something funny. We wanted people to laugh. We wanted people to be thoroughly entertained by, yeah, throw Native jokes in there. And um, so once we did the show, we realized... I mean, we were people were laughing throughout the whole show, and ninety like ninety nine percent of our audience was white, and they were laughing at these jokes. So we're That's like, it's gonna crazy. work. Yeah. It's not just natives <laughs> laughing yeah, at our at yeah. our humor. Like they get it. Yeah. So we're like, we got something. Uh huh. So then uh, we did another another spot, sold that out. We just kept selling everything out, and then people started hitting us up from other cities, and then that's how the tour started. That's fucking so, real. So cool, yeah, man. and then now it's just we did you know all throughout Canada we're starting another tour in November um, you know half the month is booked and then December uh, we're doing this you know I was US. gonna ask are you coming back this way yeah so yeah. we got a Cali show our only date in Cali is December 17th and that's a Pachanga Casino okay yes December 17th let, December okay, 17th let me get the try, let yeah. me get the homie heads up when those go on sale because this time we're rolling I'm you gonna have, yeah, you like, have to come I through I want to check it for real yes. though I, I, I saw what you guys were doing I just thought it was so um innovative and and a, and and a different space to take you know that classic and get you know the like you said you first you get them interested because like you said the natives the native people want to see some of that more representation, more I guess representation. you could say. And then, but for, like you said, for a, a mainly, all oh, you know, white audience yeah. to also accept it, like, dog, that's, that's real, right? Yeah, there. and laugh at it and, and also feel like they're included in the show, you know, mm -hmm. was really, really cool. Um, the, and another thing is, like, I've never seen anybody like that looks like me or that, that has a, a, a musical like that, you mm -hmm. know, there's... We needed something. We needed to create it for ourselves because we weren't getting that opportunity. So, and then we, of course, wanted to implement hip hop in there, doo wop because it is fifties. Um, so doo wop, hip hop, and also like indigenous drums. So we kind of married all three of those sounds together. Another element that you guys had to account for in, in that short amount of time was the costumes and shit too, yeah. right? Fuck, dude, you guys, yeah. you guys went all out, bro. Like, yeah. Just, uh, yeah. yeah, we really wanted to keep it period, which was. <laughs> the 50s but mm -hmm. you know we got to sprinkle the the culture in there too yeah and yeah. i yeah that that it, it looks so cool that's why i was like dude we got to go see this i forgot what happened that that week or something came up but that's what i'm saying i i want to get these tickets next one ahead of time yeah and i'll be and i'm and then oh, i'm, I'm there wait. yeah yeah right. for sure I'm, I'm curious to see this i really do I yes to... you'll see cloud singing cloud, there. Oh, singing, yeah. dancing like oh, elvis rapping yeah. and singing or just, oh. i i just want to see him with yeah. a pompadour yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait till you see this you guys he really
Well, he has one in the show. Yeah, that's what I it's have. It's amazing to. how fast his hair can grow. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, he, and he'll shave it off and it'll grow back two yeah. days later. <laughs> there like, you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a cool combo with the, with, with the fam, the sister Crystal Lightning. Um, Bear Grease, uh, again, the, the tickets are already, they can go online and check yeah, for those. Yeah, they're live. Right. You can check right. out Bear Grease Live. That's okay. our website. And all the tickets are on there for all the different shows. But the only one in Cali is at Pachanga on December 17th. What, what was cool is kind of what we were just kind of talking about um, is, is like even casting the thing. Like you guys found some 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 naturals like some some people that are really talented like by just like you said most of them never acted before or i don't know if all of them never did but right you guys found some some people that 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 pulled it off made it look like it's it, it's real dope yeah like, we definitely scored with 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 the cast yeah I mean, uh and you know, people are getting secrets. other opportunities you yeah, said which yeah which is beautiful like yeah. that's what you want you want to help your people hell yeah you know um with with other gigs like a few of them have already booked a few big gigs after that after seeing Bear Grease say oh I didn't know you could sing like that yeah. <laughs> oh come come to my community and sing for us and you know different uh, workshops and stuff like that like we have a few really amazing natural singers in the group and then you know like for example like I'm not the best singer but I'm a great actress so I can bring that and then we have a um we have a, a Bryce who is just you know an incredible singer and traditional drums and he powwow dances so he brings that into the show that's fucking great so everybody has strengths and you know we just play on whatever that is that's cool i mean uh, another thing so, you know having an ensemble cast which is you know 11 people in the cast sometimes things don't work out you know it's it, 11 people who have to get to, along and you know sometimes you yeah. know we've had to get rid of a few people and like that's another struggle is having to replace someone and then they have to learn six numbers and you know it's like shit what are we gonna do so we decided we're like let's make a tv show that's about it so that's what we're doing now oh, that's what we, oh, we sh shit. we're shooting a pilot and it's gonna be all our real experiences in bear grease um oh shit this person showed up you know two hours late and they can only do that three times and then we have to replace them. And then yeah. how are we going to make it to Broadway? We want to be the first natives on Broadway. That's like, that's, fucking, that's the, that's some shit right there. That's inspirational yeah. right there, man. It's like, even if it's a baby, you better not show up late. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I come kidding. from a school where like, this is what I do. And I was, I studied at different acting schools and like the director's like, if you want to not take this serious, like there's the door, there's people that want to be there, but I can't expect that from most of the people because they're not, you know, that, that they don't come from that and this, type of it wasn't everybody's like like it's been your dream like yeah you, this is what you've been pushing it wasn't everybody's but sometimes they fall into something and then have to decide like yeah. do i want to take it to that next level you right know? yeah so i feel like i have a responsibility to kind of teach them and and so that's been a real fun experience as well because i've kind of stepped into the director's role which i never was in before so it's it's kind of like um it's also a new experience but, for me. But you've taken that direction from the directors. Uh, you've had so much experience with that. Um, who better to kind of relay that to the to the new cast than someone that's done it before? Yeah, so I've that, learned a lot on different. Yeah, sets. that that that's like, it's like real cool, man. That that whole process of just like creating something and then seeing it like actually grow before your eyes and people accept it and yeah, that it's shit been fun. Fucking, it's yeah, been a fun that, journey. It, it seems like it. So. Um, with that being said, uh, uh, would, would you ever, I mean, for those that don't know, she's talked about it already, but Crystal's been doing this shit. Like, this isn't something like she just decided, to, you know, to, to act one day, but she's been studying, went to classes, you know, uh, numerous auditions, mm -hmm. all that stuff, man. So um, that has to feel good when you I've see been it. hustling a long yeah, yeah. time. From even the DJ stuff. Yeah, so, you know, because well, you got to find other things like you can't survive off of going yeah. to auditions. You have to have side hustles. You have mm -hmm. to. I was a bar. I was your stereotypical actor. I had a bartending jobs and then I always loved music. I started DJing. I met my mentor at a club when I was bartending. She was a girl, DJ Christy Mills, and asked her to teach me. I, you know, would carry her all of her stuff to mm -hmm. gigs and she, you know, give me lessons. I started there and then. Um, once I started getting gigs, 
I met Red Cloud, and then I was his DJ for a, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And he was really tricky and, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was, oh, seduced yeah. me yeah. on the road. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he, then, he threw on a Barry White voice on, <laughs> on one of his raps, and that was a that was it. After that, that was it. <laughs> he caught her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, and that's how Lightning Cloud, our our hip hop group, uh-huh. was was formed. And then we did the Power 106 thing. We won a few. We won this big competition th- from that. And then you know, and then we kind of again, like we kind of want to always do something new. Mm-hmm. What can we, what can we do new? So that I did a few solo, solo so, stuff. So so let, we're we're gonna get into that music stuff too. But I wanted to uh, just ask right before we get into that, um, whatever we can say that's coming up soon on the um you guys you got a couple shows and stuff oh yeah yeah um so the ones we can you know she's got a, <laughs> there's a yeah. few out there uh, so i just got to dabble in something i never did before which is animation that's fucking and cool yeah shit. animation is a voiceover a totally different animal from being actually in front of a camera because you can show up in your pajamas like uh-huh. you don't have to be you know you're in a sound stage and um I always thought that you would, you know, you, you still have to create the, a character. Uh, I play a bossy beaver on this new show called Spirit Rangers. It's a Netflix show, and that's premiering on October 10th. But it's it's like, it's a trip because you see the character that you're playing. It's this little beaver, but you have to create a voice. And then they actually do the animation, animation after your recording, which I thought you match your voice to what's ever animated first but that's why animation takes so long so my season i'm in season two which is coming out next year it takes that long for them to actually create the cartoon after the voice so So they're they're actually probably looking at your expressions while you're doing exactly and that's how the art is well did you i mean uh, this is what i want to tap into like how did you was it off the picture of the character you were going to play but um, and they did they give you a little description? But how do you decide the personality you're gonna bring? So to first that I look at it. Uh-huh. First I look at this character and I and I picture it in my mind, and I go okay, this and and the description of the character, is which bossy. is she's a bossy yeah. girl yeah. and she she wants to be the boss of everything and she doesn't like anyone to tell her what to do. I'm like oh that kind of sounds like myself. <laughs> <laughs> No. Wait, at least Cloud didn't nod. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then beavers, you know, I, I keep thinking of the beaver on Lady and the Tramp. There was this cartoon that I used to watch, this yeah. movie, a Disney movie called Lady and the Tramp. And I remember the beaver. And, like, you know, they just kind of, there's like a nervous energy, too, with beavers. They always say a busy beaver. They're always yeah. trying to, yeah. 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 So then I tried a couple ideas out. Um You know, it's a trip because you're in the sound booth and then you have the director and the producer on a screen right here and they can see you. And so you're talking to each other, but then the microphone's here and they kind of, okay, try this out. You try a different voice and they, okay, that's it. You know, and then you just... And then you have to. Then you have the script in front of you. That's crazy because I've seen some of those behind the scenes of of some of those big uh, animated movies and you'll see these actors like, and they're inside of a booth, like you said, but they're really like, you know, really like totally emo- like, yeah, like yeah. Anime, like doing and all this stuff. Use like, your like they're language. almost yeah. making themselves a cartoon while they're uh, doing for it. Sure. Yeah. 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 It's hard to like have a really energetic when you're just sitting here like this. Yeah. And yeah. So you use your body, you jump up and down to get your heart rate going and whatever you're supposed to be doing in the scene. I think the only ones who could pull that off is like, Christopher Walken and like uh, <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. No, yeah. They can do a voiceover and just uh, just sit there. Yeah. Or, or William Shat- William yeah. Shatner does that good. Remember when he does the song lyrics? I don't know if you ever see. I think he did Saturday Night Live. He would do the song lyrics, but he would just say them all calm. <laughs> I remember, it just sounded yeah. it was just like way different from you know William the song Shatner. just sounded a lot different. <laughs> so that uh, that uh, animated series uh, again, when does it drop and what's it called? Uh, that's called Spirit Rangers, okay. and that is dropping on Netflix October the tenth. And I'm in another show. This October. Th- this op- in a few days. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Not oh, next year. Okay. We're, yeah. we're watching this yeah. shit. Uh, Add it to the queue. <laughs> yes. I'm in season two, which okay. is coming out next year. Okay, I got uh, you. But I still want to show the show. The show love. A lot of my friends right. are on it. I gotta. I gotta get the fam to tap in. Oh, your daughter will love oh, that's it. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. She'll love that. She'll shit. love it. Yeah. yeah. It's about these little park rangers, and they turn into animals 
when something happens. Oh, so, that's yeah, cool it's shit. really cool. Um, and there's another show on CBS called Ghosts, which is a comedy. And I was in season one, and they invited me back for season two. So yeah. that's currently airing every Thursday. I'm in uh, next week's episode. It's called The Tree. And that's super funny. Yes. <laughs> I finally got to work on some comedies because, man, things so. have been heavy the last few roles. I was going to say they've been I kinda, mean, they're crying or yeah. the good doctor. I was like sobbing in this. Oh, e- gosh. Either crying or doing some Shooting gangst- a gun. gangster shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but now, that, that, and how is that? I mean, I know one of the things about comedy is timing, right? So timing's he, like a major thing, right? You know, I would have to say comedy is, for me at least, it's a lot harder than drama uh-huh. because comedy, like you said, it's it's the timing and timing, it's very right. like this, boom, 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 yeah. boom, boom. It's very, I'm used to being uh, like everything's internal, everything's in your eyes, everything is is very grounded. And building then in comedy, up, building up to something, you're versus, like using your face yeah, and like, yeah. oh my gosh, wow, yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. And it's just so I'm not used to that. So it it was a great exercise for me. And then I get you know, and then when you walk away from a set like that, you're like, okay. I, I just learned so much. Well, and then it's like uh, some of the, the 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 comedy portions are that the specifically based on the timing. Like you going right off this guy back and forth. It's like uh, this makes it funny because where you come at, and that's just yeah. yeah. I can imagine work, too, and especially because uh, somebody else actually wrote those things that are that they are funny, but it's like you, you can still read what they wrote, but. If you didn't do it at the right exact point, yep. at the right, it's not going to. You got to make like it you your would. own. Like, exactly. <laughs> right. It won't be funny if the yeah. timing is off. Or yeah. if, whereas in drama, you can sit there and you tell me something and I have to really think about and it, but responding. It, and it could become part of the actual dramatic scene is you building that up in your mind. Whereas comedy, you don't get that. It's like nope. boom, boom. It's yeah. so fast. Yeah, that's that's a, yeah. it's different. I, I Again, that's again where I. I'm watching movies and I'm like analyzing shit and I like I said I want to stop doing that sometimes because I just want to enjoy the shit. But you know what, Rabbit? Yeah. I don't think it'll ever go away. <laughs> I, I can't so watch either. a movie like a regular human being either. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. I drive cloud crazies. Like just be quiet. Yeah, I I think it comes from also like you know hosting events and mm-hmm. and even hosting the show and it's like, um, what can we do to make it better or or um, everything to me is like kind of focused on like say hosting a show. Like uh, with with big artists and stuff, everything's about I, I want the, the people that paid for their tickets to have the, like the best experience they had. Like yeah. some of these some cats don't get out that much, mm-hmm. man. And it's like, how can we put on a production where it's money well spent for these people that just want to get out and do exactly. something? Man. It's exactly how I feel like when we do this. It's like the a show. responsibility mm-hmm. it becomes. For sure. But in a good way. Yeah. yeah. Good Even way. when we're doing the show, it's like, you know, just for the for the viewers at home, I'm, I'm like every th- little thing. I'm like trying to like, fo- OK, what should they be seeing or what? You know, what are we going to focus on? And the main thing is just to make sure that at any point they're going to be entertained. They're going to enjoy it. They're not going to go out. Oh, I don't see it. nothing's going on and turn mm-hmm. it off or whatever. So, so it is, it's like, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's crazy. You know? Yeah. It's, yep. it's, it's fun though. It's like something I've <clears throat> entertainment. I've always, it's, it's always been close to me. Like just the whole aspect of it, anything from concerts to a movie to mm-hmm. a comedy show and all, all that stuff is mm-hmm. like just so a part of my life. I guess I just took it a little further, and now I analyze the shit. Right. Well, <laughs> also being a host, you're a you you study human behavior, whether you know it or not. Yeah. Like you 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 interview different kinds of people yeah. every week. Different so you've seen different personalities. Yeah. You you ask them different types of questions tailored to whoever they are. Yeah. Like if somebody you know? uh, like you could tell somebody this guy's not really answering a uh, really elaborate uh, answer to these questions. So I guess I got to talk more, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh right. yeah, right. that happens a lot. Yeah. You've seen that too I being have. here with us when you get the some people they give you that they'll, they'll go one into word the answers. story but then you got the cats that like no <laughs> and it's like uh, yeah. no and yeah. like and no, no just no like, and you're literally talking the whole interview <laughs> yeah and then right. i'm talking it's happened a few times it's right like, like how was the how was the whole journey to this point good, good. yeah <laughs> it was all right <laughs> exactly and then you you have to pick it up and yeah. you know yeah. Wow. Well, why was it all right? Okay, let's get into it now. Like, why was it all right? We're, let, let's talk about it. But yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy. You that. literally have to coerce the answer out of did, them. Did you, um, like in that comedy, uh, you know, your experience with comedies, um, did you, in that particular one, was there also, because I know an, another thing that's added to comedy is there's the, 
the improv part. Yeah. So sometimes it goes from this, and then somebody imp- some of the funniest parts of movies were some were from somebody improving, and they people watching it, the casual you know fan watching the movie, they don't know that or look at that, but that's like homies just clowning, yeah. and it stuck because it was so funny. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, so the thing with improv is it depends on the writer. Sometimes okay. the writer will say, "Go ahead and improv," and they'll let the director know that. And then some writers want verbatim every you. single uh, word on the page, yeah. which is like okay. You know, some directors just leave, leave the actor alone and let you play. And then, like you said, you can find magic out of that. Yeah, like Jim find, Carrey's yeah. a master. Oh, yeah. All the c- comics are master What's improvs. his name uh, uh, that comes to mind? Fuck, I can't think of his Steve name. Steve Carell. Right? He's one of them, but the, uh, shit. Oh, well, I just, old school. Uh, uh, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell. Oh, yeah. He's another one. He's, he does that. The, the, so uh, there's a few things that I'll <laughs> notice is I'll go. Like, that's one of the things I noticed when I'm watching him. Uh-huh. So I'll go, that wasn't in the script. Yes. That wasn't yeah, in the script. Yeah. See, that's how I am. So yeah. it's not just me. I <laughs> No, it's not. It's yeah. like, oh, my God, that was brilliant. Look, I was I was reading just an article the other day about, like, some, like, some, like, influential, like, shows and stuff. And they were talking about, like, Carol Burnett show. It was oh. back from, like, the 70s or yes. whatever. So, but I, I remember seeing it when I was a little kid. But they said they, they pretty much were talking about how all those actors that were on that, but, but, but they all knew each other good and they were all friends, friends anyway. But most of the time... They were trying to like, like stop from Mick, like laughing, like breaking right. Dude, character yeah. at the other. I guy was just gonna say they're making each other. You laugh know who like used to? It was uh, it was. I don't know if you know too much about that show. Like, yeah, I'm a little older, but I, I used to watch it with with, with my dad. My grandma used yeah, to watch it. Yeah, my grandma used to watch so, it too. So, so trip. It was uh, it was Tim Conway yeah, and Tim uh, Conway what, what was and, his uh, partner's name? They were good together, but dude, Tim Conway would do some improv improv shit that. He would all, dude, it was so funny to watch too because they're supposed to be doing like a little scene, they're, right? They're, not, they're supposed to break character but, and but laugh, you know, like. Right. The dude, what the fuck? Uh, Harvey, what, Harvey, yeah, Corman. Harvey Corman. Harvey Corman. Harvey yeah, Corman. Yeah. He was like, they would did a lot of stuff together, but Tim Conway would purposely, like, he would do little things. He that, would try to break and, up. And he, but he did a lot. And it, it, but it, to me, I laughed so hard because <laughs> it, Harvey Corman would break <laughs> character and he would be like, He's just trying to hold it. You would literally see him like, he's like this, his eyes down, and then he would answer the question like what he was supposed to be acting. Yeah. But he he was still laughing. To me, that made me laugh so hard. It was just so funny to me, and it's crazy, but... Yeah, improv. yeah, they do that in SNL too. Saturday Night Live, yes, like, yes, when yes. you see them breaking, and yeah. you're like, "Oh my god!" Uh, to breaking. me, I don't know why, but that shit is so funny is to funny. me because you know, because I remember being in you know in school in class, and especially when the teacher was getting mad or getting strict, and something would happen where I, it would be so fucking, and, and I would just have my head down, like <laughs> trying not to like show that I was laughing, but like, oh, and because it was so funny, but I'm trying not to get in trouble, right? And those used to be some of the funniest fucking moments yeah. for me just because <laughs> i'm trying not to laugh this hard but this shit is and if, if right. i ever uh, my, my thing to play it off if i if i end up uh break it like laughing too loud i just pretend i was sneezing uh, yeah, okay, you know how you can't you know how sometimes when you laugh you go like Poof. yeah so I do. that's a good trick just jerk a few times <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um so uh, anything else oh, oh can i out? can i um ask because oh. uh, we, we we some this was mentioned to me off area and i'm i'm tripping out on this that um so you talked about your acting family, and you have a brother that has something coming out soon too. Can oh, you, can you t- can you yeah, tell my us about baby brother, brother yeah. uh, Cody Lightning. He is going to be in the next Marvel series, which is Echo, and Dang. that's a playoff. She was in Hawkeye. Yeah. So Echo I is saw that a series. I saw her. Uh, deaf yeah, and an amputee deaf. in mm-hmm. real life as well. Yeah. And so um, my brother plays her brother, mm-hmm. and so uh, he had to learn sign language for this role mm-hmm. and everything. And uh, so yeah, it's pretty uh, huge. So I'm really proud of him because cool. yeah, yeah, I know my brother is going to be watching. Yeah. He watches all that. I mean, I was I I was more of a, a comic reader when I was a kid, so I don't really collect. But but I did. I always just keep up on it, and I know that she she was originated in the comics and the Marvel comics, and now they're bringing her to the screen, which yeah. they started on Hawkeye because I guess she has a storyline with them and. Kingpin, I think Kingpin is like her um, adoptive dad or something yep, like that. Exactly. So, and and, Vin- <laughs> and Vincent D'Onofrio is back from the Daredevil series on Netflix. He's playing. He's actually back in. You in know this. what's up, yeah, I know, dude. I know my Marvel stuff. You sure do. And it's actually the first Native American uh, uh, character, character in, in Marvel. In, in Mar- well, I think there was Skelt, but that didn't make it on. Uh... Oh, that was a Marvel. Sorry. Yeah. yeah, it's the first. Uh, it's the first. 
superhero right, um, yeah. series. That's yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. Shit, it's it's dude. a good year for us because yeah. there there again there hasn't been anything that's funny. You have Reservation Dogs now on FX. You had Rutherford Falls, and before it was all like really serious period pieces, and now it's like people think that like natives are so serious and there's so much, but now we're finally getting some some funny stuff on there and you know what's cool is even on the on the uh, latino side like um, they're, finally they're starting to be a little more representation exactly. even the, even the submariner on the new black panther movie the exactly. submariner he's mexican <laughs> yeah. it's beautiful it's beautiful for brown people like we're finally getting some representation out there yeah. some good stuff not just your stereotypical yeah stuff. have you seen this fool Yes, dude. That is so fun. I haven't seen it all yet, but I've seen dude, the first few. Yeah. It's God. fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh my hey dude, it's because so funny. because some of the stuff you go, yeah, that's exactly like a situation that would happen it's and it's the like, same. Oh my god. And homie gets off, man. That dude, uh uh what's the name that plays Cholo Fit Creeper that uh uh I can't um My bad, I'll get to it. I know it. who it is. Yes, I I fucking drew a blank right now, but dude dude he's killing yeah, it right so now funny. he's so fucking hilarious dude yeah. uh uh fuck i'm gonna get to it yeah. i feel bad now but because <laughs> we're talking about it but i know you're talking about too i'm horrible at he's fucking killing the game yeah, right now so dude he's so dope um so uh anything else that you have coming up before because we uh, want to so there is ghosts there is uh oh there's a series called three pines and oh. that is Ooh. going to be on amazon and that's more of a crime thriller and so that is starring Alfred Molina, who I don't know anybody's seen Boogie Nights. Yeah, well, um, I know he was on. He played Doctor Octopus on Spider Man too. Doctor Octagon, know, yeah. exactly that guy. Doctor, yeah. I knew him from Boogie Nights because you know the the guy in the silver robe when uh, Mark Wahlberg knocks on the door, <laughs> and he's like, you know, blasting everybody. The craziest scene in that movie. Yeah. That's what I remembered him from. Yeah, I but, forgot. I, I haven't seen that movie yet, way back. Yeah, I know. She it's said so yeah, older. Yeah, I he, it's a crazy scene, but that's when I saw him. I was like, oh, my God. That's... Booyaka, booyaka. Yeah. <laughs> and he's actually from, he's English. So in the yeah. movie, he plays this badass. But, and then it also in Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. But he actually speaks like this. He's from England and yeah, he's yeah. very proper, you know. So it's it's cool again to see who people really are. <laughs> You know you uh, who they're playing. You could see it too. I know because we we an overanalyze when we're trying to watch something, but it's crazy. Like when when like say someone like English or vice versa, American is playing the opposite, and and you could catch it on certain parts. I swear. But but then certain parts that hey they're doing pretty they're good. Doing pretty but good. then certain parts you a could, word will slip yeah, here and there. Yeah, you could yeah. kind of you could. You when could, I first saw X Men, I didn't know Hugh Jackman was Australian. Yeah. At all. Well, I even the I, homie I, from uh, uh, Sons of Anarchy, that oh, dude, yes. yeah, and he played a fucking Jax. biker dude from over oh. here, and and then he was flawless. Uh, Where's he from? England? He's was from it? he's from Europe somewhere. Yeah, 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 somewhere. But he, yeah, he very had, harsh accent. Yes, has a harsh accent. But in that, he he pulled. But certain parts. Even in Sons of Anarchy, I was like, that, it slipped a little. That was like a whole <laughs> British or whatever you were like dialect. Hey, what yeah. about uh, that movie? I think it was, oh, that movie Snatch when Brad Pitt. Oh, oh my gosh. He, what that was he a, played an Irish accent, but you couldn't even understand no, what he was saying. I but said, it was oh, supposed man. to be. The, I read about it. Yeah. It's a part there where they speak. It's kind of uh, not <laughs> it's, gibberish. It's like a. It's, it's a like slang. a slang. There you go. Yeah. And, and it's so he he kind of pulled that off like it's from the that deepest funny, ghetto in yes, ireland yes where they have like certain slang words but the but the accent it's like even irish people can't understand i, I remember reading about that he went that that was the research he did for yes. that like he wanted to do some way out shit for that and yeah he, he did he it. did he pulled it yeah, off that was some fucking crazy <laughs> shit dude oh do, do we miss anything no Just, that's okay. it three pines is airing in november because yeah, um be good. You know, we, we, we spoke about, uh, you know, Lightning Cloud and what, what you guys have been doing and, and, and stuff like that. And um, you're also doing your solo stuff. We'll get into it in a second. But I did want to touch on the, the competition that you guys did before we get into your solo stuff. Um, that was pretty trippy that the uh, wow. for power, right? Yeah. But it was power. off of uh, uh, beats from uh, who do, you did uh, Timbaland, right? Timbaland, you got, had on there. How, what was that comp? the basis of it, that competition was, okay so power was having this competition called who's next battle for the best okay. and it was basically a competition for who's the best rappers in la and who's the best rappers in new york and then they're gonna battle and then there's a winner so power uh cloud's brother actually pocho hit him up and was like you guys need to enter this contest we're like 
uh, I don't know. All right, sure. Let's do it. What do we have to lose? You had to enter a song and a music video. And uh, so we submitted that. There was like a couple thousand entries and it was based off of a voting system. So we started putting it out there, vote for us, and we got like top 20, then we got top 10, and the top 10 has to perform in front of a live audience, in front of like Feli, and back then it was Yesi, and uh, you know, some execs, and a full club, like a full club. So, you know, all 10 of the contestants did that, and then they had to uh, freestyle battle. And, you know, Cloud is like a master oh, yeah. at freestyle. Oh, yeah. He broke the Guinness Book World Record yeah, for the longest freestyle. It's easy. 18 hours. Uh, for, for Cloud, it's yeah. easy. Yeah. So we ended up winning for L.A. And then the winner from New York, we had to go to South by Southwest in Texas and battle there. So there it's a live performance and it's a uh, written battle. So I let Cloud take that part. <laughs> I, yeah. was, I was good on that part. Yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, Kendrick was there, Dre was there, um, you know, of course, all the power people were there, and Cloud, like, annihilated the guy from New York. I mean, it was just, it was quite sad. Well, but was, uh, but a, he, he whooped his ass. That's the thing, is like, okay, these are things, like, that contest was kind of based around things that is right in your guys' wheelhouse. Like, Man. you guys are performers already, Cloud's been rocking stages for a year, you, you're yeah. a, a performer. So that part, you know, and then and then freestyling this guy, uh, you know, that's, that's yeah. We knew we had the live show in the bag because uh -huh. we had choreography. Little, yeah. it's hard for yeah. hip hop. I mean, you know, even the way you guys style yourselves, though, you guys make sure you represent when you guys do your thing. And it's yeah, cool, we man. tried to like that's part of the shit. Man. You got to bring do that. something different yeah. to the live performance because yeah. we knew he was by himself, and so we're like, how can we beat the or how can we do the best that we can to and it, like you said entertain the, the yeah. crowd yeah. so that they're not just listening to you know it's not like they're going to a battle yeah like they want to be visually entertained as well yeah so, and then you know with the the one-on-one -on -one battle with them i mean he just had bars for days mm -hmm. so they went off a crowd reaction and like every time cloud would you know spit a they would just hit be the like oh, they're dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know <laughs> yeah so um and then you know we reached out to like our homie Send Dog from Cypress Hill, and he, you know, voted for us and like tweeted it out too, which helped us out. And some other people helped us out that were actually at the show, and we ended up winning the whole contest. That's fucking so bad. our winning was we won ten grand, and we were like, damn, because we were so broke. Uh, uh, it <laughs> that worked really out. helped us yeah. out. <laughs> we we paid rent that month. Yeah, and we were yeah, like, yeah. All right, let's go get our teeth fixed. Like, <laughs> got a couple we, we cavities. Can eat. Hey, we can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Let's go fucking, uh, yeah, hit the, the suntan fucking salon. Yeah, exactly. All right. So uh, and then we won uh, a beat from Timbaland and we got to um, record at Will Smith's Boom Boom Room and we got played on the radio, Power 106. So that was pretty dope. So that kind of gave us like a nice, like it was like a nice Kickstarter for us. Powerhouse. Oh, yeah. We got to open for the Powerhouse tour, which, you know, at that time it was like Chris Brown, Nicki Minaj, uh, Tyga. And so that man, that was like the highlight. That was so dope. We were just like, I mean, because, you know, of course, everybody is there for them. So we had a full no, we had yeah, a yeah. full sea of people. Yeah. But they're ready. To watch to us. Seats, but yeah. they're ready to see um, the people even opening and stuff they they, they want yeah to see they that, were that. they did want to see where you know they wanted to see okay who are these cats why yeah. did they win and um so we killed that and that was like so dope man. you that know a lot of a lot of the you know artists that i would well at the time not following but go like support or see them live or you know cop their music it was at a, you know, I'd be watching somebody else at a show, but I'll see these fools just straight kill it or yeah. whoever it was. And like, damn, I got to check out more of their stuff. And that's how it works, man. It's like, yeah, a, we got a few fans yeah. from that. So that was yeah. really fresh. That's fucking cool, man. So you right now you got during this time, like the roles are coming, everything. Um, you've also had a chance to kind of get back in the studio. 
um, releasing singles on your solo stuff, right? Yeah, I feel like when things are a little bit in my in the acting world, when things kind of slow down a little bit, I still want to be creative. So I feel like that's another vessel for creativity and just to have fun, really, you know. Um, and I got a few people that, you know, I got some, I got a nice team in Edmonton where I'm at, you know, good camera guy, good studio, good, you know, editor. So I'm like, let's play around and let's let's create something. So cool. that's where, um, and Cloud was like, yo, do some, you know, stuff. Because he has his own projects, too. So we kind of went solo for a little bit and just kind of um, put out a few songs. Would, and, would, and would you say with that, well, I mean, I know because I've heard him and stuff, but you kind of go, you know, you're uh, experimenting a little more like creativity wise with your music, too, like your solo stuff. Yeah. You're like a little more singing the hooks and stuff now that you're. you're, you're yeah. More, I'm like, uh, OK, it's, let's, it's cool. The melodies and the shit. melodies. Yeah. yeah tr you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to stay trying to stay relevant with this new sound, you know. <laughs> No, the, the songs are cool. I mean, the latest one, uh, uh, Bag Talk. Bag right? Talk, it's called, yeah. yeah I, I mean, I, I've been seeing some of the new video, but it, it's dope, man. It's got the melodies, the hook got you, but then you are you guys are still kicking shit, too. Thank you. Know you. I mean? so Thank you. That, yeah, that cool. was fun. That was a fun video to shoot because we were in this whole Bear Grease vibe in the 50s, and we found this 50s diner. And we're like, oh, man, we asked the owner if we could shoot there. And she was so supportive. She's like, hell, yeah, whatever. Did, would they do it after it was closed? Does yeah. It looked like you she had opened the whole just for yeah, us. Yeah, I was going to say, because you had that. Shit, and, like, like, she fed everybody there for free. Oh, like, she just hooked it up, yeah, man. That, and so it just worked out perfectly. That, that's fucking cool right there. And then Kripal, who's, on the, who's, who's featured on the track, uh -huh. he's, like, one of the dopest in Edmonton. So I kind of wanted to, um, like, keep it local because – I, I'm I'm just being reintroduced to the city too. Like I left when I was a child. Like I was eight when I moved to LA uh -huh. from there. So uh, you know I could have got someone from here, but I was like, let me just try to get in the scene. And Kripal, you know, Cloud knows him for a long time, so he was happy to do it. Yeah, and I think he kills it. And it worked. Yeah, it worked out good. You guys uh, like went off of each other. Like it, it, it sounds like real dope. And then the video is clean as fuck too. Like, Thank do you, you also? Uh, you, I mean, obviously, from you know doing your own stuff, being on set and all that, uh, you you play a hand in the directions. That of your was video. my like directorial that, debut. That? Okay. Yeah, I really, really wanted it to come out in what was in my head, and you know, I kind of shied away from it a little bit, but I I know I have the skill inside. Yeah. But I I was like, well, this is my video, and what better time, you know, to kind of put my idea out there, and so I had it in my head, and then I just I cast it, I cast the two the two um the couple in there and then just kind of went with like how i wanted it to look and birdie who shot it who shot it was was totally game yeah so. that that shit is it came out real clean and stuff so right now is that the plan you're you're doing singles um you're doing singles and then you're gonna are you putting a whole project how's that what, what? so i haven't really thought about doing an album i've just been doing singles and i feel like um because when I want to put it out, I want to put it out. Like for me, albums, it, it, it does take a little while, you know. And so once I'm done the song, once I record it, once I do the video, I want to put it out. Because I've done that before where something just sits. Mm -hmm. And then you kind of lose momentum sometimes. Yeah. You know, so I don't know if that's the right formula, you know, but that's kind of well, like. Well, actually, like, especially in these times right now, like sometimes people's attention spans are short. And it is crazy, like that seems to be kind of the formula right now is like puts put the stuff out people can see what's going on and then mm -hmm. that builds up and then you decide like i don't know that's just what i've seen with a lot of the artists that we have on and stuff too right it seems like yeah uh yeah. the singles are the shit no yeah, and, the singles and, and then those are the and those are singles that you're putting now those are fucking like heaters like you the club shit or radio shit you could you could hear thank that thank you yeah, thank yeah. you rabbit yeah yeah it's been fun like um yeah, like I said, when things are kind of slow here, it's like you got to keep you got to keep moving, keep, you know, keep staying creative. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that's what, you know, uh, your art is. It, it dictates that like it, it's like you don't feel like it, it almost feels like you, you. And I know you agree, but it sometimes feels guilty when you sleep in some days or <laughs> take a day off. It's like I'm supposed to be doing something oh, right now. Like man, I could have curse. Like, I, I think I, that's. Uh, the uh, the other problem i overanalyze shit and then yep. i fucking and then Your i mind is all yeah all over there and then i can't even get my damn sleep because yeah. i'm like 
why am I still in bed? I got to go do something. Like, yep. it's not going to get I'm done. I'm actually if I don't free, get and I have free time. Yeah, but yeah. I should be resting, but no way. No, I'm going to create something yeah. else instead. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel, too. Um, Shay, did you have uh, something else? Uh, no, I think that was it. We're after, uh, just for the rabbit fire round, I got a couple things, but I guess when you're ready for yeah. that. Yeah, we're, we, well, let's get into it right now. Uh. We got it. Hey, dude. Uh, so these are just quick questions that we run through and shit this but, first uh, thing out the top of your head okay yeah. so let me go first then uh well, like what's a movie they could watch like over and over no matter if it's on you're always gonna watch it no matter how many times like casino all, casino oh, okay Guys, that's a that's fucking dope didn't you do it you did a shoot kind of off of that too <laughs> didn't you i did a tiktok oh uh, yeah okay no because i i saw like the kind of the the era the like you did the makeup and stuff yeah. kind of like how sharon stone yeah. in the in the in the um the casino scene yeah. where she blasts the chips all over the place. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Love hey, it. Love it. Mad, mad, one. mad creative and the stuff you, you guys <laughs> do too. Um, uh, what's your favorite movie genre? So, you know, I know you've done most of the acting on the set, but to watch. I really love, I love gangster movies. I do. I that's, love. That's what I like. That's mobster my movies. Yeah. Mine is Bronx the, Tale. That those casino. like Al Capone type shit. Yeah. I, I love that shit. And I also love. You know, my other favorite is black and white Marilyn Marilyn Monroe movies. I love the classic the vintage classic yeah. shit. Yeah. Right, a couple of your uh, just top uh, like either inspiration or just favorite actors to watch actors or actresses. I love Sharon Stone. I love uh, Jessica Biel. She's great because she's she has a wide variety. I mean, Angelina Jolie, she's beautiful, but she has a wide range. She can do everything. Oh, she yeah. can play someone that's tormented. She could play, you know, the classic. She can do it all. Love she her. directs now too. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Crazy. So love uh, Tom Hanks. Oh, and Tom Tom Hanks. Oh and, yeah, he's he's great. I'm like, like actor side, like I always like I I don't know if he's underrated or not, but I feel he don't get mentioned enough. Is Sean Penn. Like, he's great. Dude is so dope to me. Like every he role he's played, like I've seen Very him talented. since he was a, yeah, since a youngster. Um, we mentioned earlier, but some of your go-to uh, fast food spots. In and out. Yeah. Number one is In and Out. Um, In and Out. Yes, I love the Del Taco bean and cheese. I just freaking love it. I like their fries. Their fries. Yeah, their crinkly fries. Yeah. <laughs> their, their super nachos are pretty good too. <laughs> okay. Um, let and let's do this one let's what is there a fun fact that we might not know about crystal lightning it's something random that you do a habit or anything that's kind of way out look at you know, <laughs> cloud's gonna think <laughs> cloud's gonna think of it like <laughs> oh a fun fact oh gosh i used to be from a party crew called heavenly desires uh, and uh, my name was destiny uh, <laughs> uh, so when you're so when you had when you're in a party crew you had to have a uh a, a, yes. a moniker name as there well there was like oh my gosh yeah it was so fun and we're do you still have the cap for, or the hat or the we the, used the gear? to <laughs> you i have a have few the flyers oh, like flyer. we, we we got down though we threw a couple of really big parties and there was like ditch parties and stuff like oh, that yeah. I don't know if you guys remember no i but i I ha backyard I boogies all like that all shit. of that yeah. clubs yeah we used to and and it all mattered on how many parties like that the party crew threw that's how they get their name out there yeah and so we did pretty good but that's a fun fact dude that, that that's knows. funny because like we i was in one as well and like we used to throw parties <laughs> what was yours like, called tns yeah. Taking no shit. Yeah. It was a crew. I'm act, sure act. somebody listening is going to go, oh, I remember their I parties. Remember I remember those Heavenly <laughs> desires. Yeah. yeah, we used to hit all the backyard party, but that, yeah. they would be like, again, going back to the essence, like freestyle. People would be freestyling. Those, yeah. those were good times, though. Such like, good, the 90s. Yeah, it's just like a, it kind of shaped us to kind of where we're all For at sure. now. Yeah, that those times, man. Shay, you got any more? No, I think, that's, I think that was it. Well, was what's the like uh, best spots and, uh, where they could get at you and all that stuff to check out what you've done, to check out the movies? Is there a certain spot where they can kind of... Yeah, uh, for movies, IMDb is the best. Oh, like, okay, that's if yeah. you want to check out anybody. But yeah. as far as my socials, like uh, my Instagram is crystal underscore lightning. Okay. Crystal, C-R-Y-S-T-L-E underscore oh. lightning. And then TikTok is crystal lightning, Twitter is sweet lightning. And that's it. I'm mostly on Instagram, though. There, there it is, man. Make sure you guys tap in. And I want to um, thank you guys. And, and shout out to, you know, the whole fam, uh, Red Cloud. Yes, um, 
you know, your brother, your mom, I'll G-sick. get you doing G-sick. their thing. Thank Little, you. I, I want to meet him someday soon. Yeah. I hope you can meet my daughter, like, yes. they, like a play or something before they get too. Watch the Spirit will. Rangers together. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes. One of the times you guys come down, yeah. they'll, they'll oh, watch it. Yeah. We'll put on cartoons at the B side. So yeah. they watch. <laughs> no, but, um, you know, uh, to the whole, you know, your whole team and stuff doing your thing. And, and we want to say, you know, from our perspective, man, keep keep doing your thing, man. It's, it's, it's so cool to see it's inspiring we like to see that shit and you know all the moves you're making and and just like portraying these different roles like it's a whole like it's it's all part of your craft and it's good to see that you like you're mastering it so well it's 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 real thank you so much i'm really happy that i was able to even you know you guys are part of my journey too yeah. being on yeah, the thank host you for, on the show thank you for always thank still you. showing us love too you know like oh always you didn't go hollywood on the <laughs> <laughs> always <laughs> i thought when i thought love when she got the magazine guys. cover yeah. she wouldn't yeah. talk to us no more but yeah she's still <laughs> i'll always always come through yeah thank yeah you, thank you. this is fam right here uh thank you once again miss crystal lightning in the building it's the rabbit season podcast we got another one in thank you guys that tap in we appreciate you see you on the next one peace yeah. All right.